When you wash your car, if you don't immediately dry it afterwards, you're very likely going to have water spots appear on your car's paint. And that's from all the water that's been sitting on the paint evaporating and all of the particulates, all the little stuff that's in the water is going to be left behind. There's going to be the little ring of essentially dirt. It's whatever's carried in the water gets left behind. Those are water spots. They're really annoying and sometimes washing your car and leaving it to dry naturally can leave a whole load of them which makes your car look worse than before you washed it. I know it's happened to me in the past. So I'm always on the lookout to try and find ways of speeding up my wash process and even drying. Today I'm testing a self-drying shampoo. So this is Triple Wax Liquid Gold, um, and they say self-drying car shampoo on the label. Uh, now, it's um, it's interesting. I've, I've seen this product before. Hang on, I've got to fix my focus there. Hello. Right, <laughs> I've seen this before, um, but I've never really tried it. Uh, I've never really thought about it because lately, the more I got into my car care and, and looking after my car, I made sure I bought good drying towels to make sure that I could dry my car properly. Um, but this says that you don't have to. Um, and it's it's quite bold. Um, what they're saying here is it's a quick and easy uh, to use with outstanding results. Incorporates advanced water sheeting technology so you can just wash and go with no manual cloth drying required and no time, uh, no need for time consuming polishing. Polishing? I don't really, I don't, this is this is not going to replace a polish. <laughs> okay, I'm not, not entirely sure about that. Um, unique, revolutionary uh, polymer system. Cuts through all types of, types of dirt and grime. After rinsing, the water self dries and evaporates with an iridescent effect. I love that word to leave a perfect flawless showroom shine with no water spots or streaks. Not some, not less, but no water spots or streaks. Um, just leave it to self dry naturally for 20 minutes and you'll be amazed with the results. That is bold <laughs> to say the least. That's a bold claim. We're gonna test that today. Um, I have a relative's black car here with me today because black is the best color to show it up. Um, so we're gonna give this a try. As, as far as how much you use, I don't find it to be that um, that good uh, cost per wash. Um, this cost me about five pounds for this 500 milliliter bottle. It says you need um, two full caps to 10 liters of water. I should point out these caps are pretty big. I'm gonna go and measure it just now. Um, and then we'll come to the, the wash process with this and uh, we'll see how it works. So I have to bring it down to this level. Uh, I just measured it. Two full capfuls is almost 100 milliliters of shampoo for 10 liters of water. That's not all that great, to be honest, because if it costs five pounds, if it's nearly 100 mil, you get 500 mils in a bottle, that's only five washes. Not the best, but maybe you don't need to use it as an everyday shampoo. Uh, it might just be for every now and then. So take that, take what you want from that. Uh, now I'm just going to show you what the bonnet's like here. It's already had uh, a pre-wash, although it's uh, dried off now and there's definitely water spots and water marks on here, but I'll let you see that there's absolutely no protection of any sort on the bonnet. So you can see there, the water is sticking to the paint. It's not trying to run off. It's not trying to bead up. It is simply clinging to the paint as much as it can. There may be a couple of spots where it's repelling and that just might be from other dirt uh, on the panel, but this hasn't been washed at all. And um, I know it, it doesn't really get that much care by the owner. So uh, right now we're going to give it a, a test wash versus another common popular shampoo. All right, so I have two wash buckets made up here right now. 
this side on the right, I have the uh, required mix of shampoo of the uh, liquid gold with a wash mitt. So I'm going to just wash this half of the bonnet as I would pretty much any car, not washing it in any specific manner. It doesn't really foam up much. I don't know if that's anything to do with my mitt. It doesn't really promote lots of foaming in this. Uh, there's the, the shampoo. Give it a good wash over and just the front edge there. And the headlight, why not? Now, in the other bucket, I have another common, excuse me, car wash shampoo. And that is Auto Glim Bodywork Shampoo Conditioner. And this one is, um, let's see, it's very common. Hang on, I'm not getting, not getting any good focus here. Excuse me. There we go. Uh, this one, very common. You can find this um, lots of different places. Um, it's a little bit more expensive than the uh, Triple Wax product. Not by much, but it does require less. It only requires two capfuls, and they're much smaller caps here, for 10 litres of water. So you can get away with less. And it does say that it has a streak-free water repellent finish. So we're going to give this a try to tr see if we can compare it uh, and see if it does anything similar to the Triple Wax product. So let's go ahead and wash that side with the same kind of mitt. It is a different mitt, it's just the same kind as the other one I've used, because I like these. It's, again, it's not uh, overly soapy or foamy, it's interesting. Anyway, And down on the front. And the headlight. Okay. Now, it's time to just rinse these off and see how they dry. I'm gonna run a small camera here, uh, which has just switched itself off. And uh, we will see what it's like. And right now, I will report that there's absolutely no difference <laughs> between the two at all. They are both just, the, the water's flat. They're not repelling it. Actually, ooh, okay, I'm gonna have to bring you in close for this now. I am starting to see a difference. So let's try not to get in the way of the other camera. And I can show you what I'm seeing. So let's bring you around. Now, on this side here, let's get focused on that. You can see this is the auto glim side. It is starting to sheet the water off, repel it off. On this side, it is as well, although it's just disappeared now, um, there was that iridescent effect that they mentioned on the uh, on the bottle i could definitely see it uh it's just vanished <laughs> but it's it's repelling so let's uh let's leave this now for 20 minutes and then we'll come back to it there we go again we're going to leave this for 20 minutes and then we'll uh, have a look at the results Now I don't normally do uh, voiceovers, but because there's a time lapse going on here, I wanted to talk about what was happening on screen. So obviously the left side has the auto glim, uh, the right side is the triple wax, and the left side is drying in patches already. Uh, most of the top of the front bumper is dry, um, and 
the bonnet is starting to dry in patches. It's not even. If you have a look at the top right of the bonnet where the triple wax liquid gold is, it's coming down in a straight line. It's coming down slowly. And I have to admit, as this was drying, I thought that the autoglim would be the winner. Uh, gotta get those Instagram shots in there, by the way. That's what I'm doing. Um, but as you see now, we're 50% down the way and it's starting to match the speed at which it comes down the bonnet. Um, so that's quite interesting. I, I really wasn't sure how this was going to behave. But it's coming down in a very much a uniform straight line uh, as it evaporates. Uh, with the iridescent effect, it is definitely there if you look up close. Um, but this was a very, very interesting product to try. Um, and as you can see, there's practically nothing left, but there are a few spots left on the Autoglim site. Okay, so that's been 20 minutes. And initially, I thought that the uh, the turtle wax was going to be, not the turtle wax, the triple wax was going to be outdone by the, um, the Autoglim over there. However, as you can see, there is pretty much only with the tiniest of water spot there. But if we come over to the auto glim side, um, struggle to, to get focus here and to see through the viewfinder, um, I can see there's water spotting going in there. Let's bring you in closer there. You can see that although it dried fast, it left marks behind and that's not ideal. Is that going to be easy enough to just towel off? Well, let's give it a try. I'll put you back on here now. And uh, there we go. All right, let's just get some focus on there. And of course, it's not gonna let me focus because it's trying to focus on the sky. Let's go manually, living dangerously. There we go. All right, let me just grab a drying towel here and yeah I mean it comes off you know, there's a couple of spots here which have kind of dried themselves on so realistically I'd need to go over that with maybe a, a spray detailer or something to help lift off the worst of it Let's look at the other side. Let me see if I can get you across there now. And uh, zoom in to where that spot was, which should be right there. Okay, uh, let's see if that wipes off as easily. Yeah, it was a bit more wet. You can see it's, it's dragging it around there. Um, yeah, that came off perhaps a bit easier. There's no real other spots that I can see um, going across. It feels fairly smooth and slick, um, but there's no real water left there. I've definitely seen uh, a patch of water here on the Autoglim side. So uh, it definitely looks like it's lived up to its claim. Maybe not 100% no water spots, but it's not bad. For what it is, there's no, <laughs> just burp, sorry. Uh, for, <laughs> for what it is, it did uh, a good job. It did a better job than the Autoglim, but the Autoglim wasn't bad. So the findings after all that uh, was that this, it actually does do what it says on the bottle. Um, it definitely dried within 20 minutes. Um, the Autoglim dried a bit faster but it did leave a bit more in the way of water spotting and there was some um, little wet patches on it. Um, so, although this is cheaper, and it doesn't say that it's a, a self-drying shampoo, it's not bad. Um, in comparison, cost per wash should still be lower than this. However, um, as an everyday shampoo, I, I wouldn't use it every day because it's cost per wash at nearly 100 milliliters in a 10 liter bucket um, of water, it's it's expensive. If you can buy bigger bottles for less, it might be able to, to bring the cost per wash down, um, but it's not the most ideal. Um, however, if you are short on time 
and uh, you don't really want to go around the car with a drying towel or an air dryer or whatever it is you use to dry your car um, then this is a good idea it's maybe good to have just in case i say these are roughly five pounds for a 500 ml bottle um, i don't know what the price is for the bigger bottles go looking for deals if you can find a good deal on a big bottle it might be worth having uh, but for me personally it's not an everyday washer at least it's not an every wash product uh, because there are times i do have the opportunity to dry the car but that being said it's not bad it certainly does what it says and I, i'm i'm actually impressed at how well it worked um as a rep <laughs> It still annoys me this as a no need for time consuming polishing. I, I don't know <laughs> exactly what they're trying to say with that. Polishing your car um, enhances gloss. Does it enhance the gloss enough? Mm, as much as a polish would? No. Um, looking at the two sides. Um, yeah, it's hard to say. It's really hard to say. Um, the side that, um, that had the auto glim, it really did need uh, a, a dry off. Um, so maybe going over it with a detailing spray uh, would be a good idea just to make sure that any of those smears or anything that's left behind are taken care of. This doesn't have it. Um, so it, it's not a polish replacement, but it's it leaves a nice shiny finish. Um, it does look good. It's nice that there are no water spots on it. It does reflect um, quite well. Um, <laughs> I don't know if it's just marketing bump or, or what, but um, it, it's good. For what it, it does, if you ignore the polished part of it, um, it's, a, it's a decent product. It works well. Um, I just wish it was a bit cheaper, but maybe the, the chemicals in here are expensive you know the things that make it do whatever it does to the water interesting different um so there you go if you guys are interested you can find this usually in your local supermarket and halfords and all these other places so uh that's that thank you very much for watching if you enjoyed this video please give it uh, a like also um why not consider subscribing and hitting the notification bell so you know when my next video goes up uh, in the meantime, I'm going to wash the rest of this car now because um, I can't just leave it at the bonnet. So uh, make sure you leave any comments, questions, suggestions down in the box below or you can reach me on Instagram as well. Uh, so thanks very much. I've been Specky. I'll see you in the next video.